So I hear misinformation about contact lenses all of the time, not just online, but also directly from patients in the eye clinic. So today we're gonna to break down seven contact lens myths that you need to know are not actually true. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? Dr. Joseph Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. And on this channel, we talk a lot about eyes, contact lenses, vision, diseases, everything in between. So if you like learning about the eyes and seeing your best, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now the absolute number one myth about contact lenses I hear most often is that the contact lenses are gonna get stuck behind your eye. This is not true at all, and that's just a misinformation about how the anatomy of the eyeball works. There's actually a clear coating on the surface of your eye called the conjunctiva, and that actually loops around underneath your eyelid and attaches to the back surface of your eyelids. So no, even if a contact lens does fold on itself and gets stuck way up there, it's not gonna roll behind the eye and get to your brain or anything like that. If a contact lens does slip underneath your eyelid and get stuck back there, it's best to just look down toward the floor and try to like touch it, feel it, and push it downward. I do have a video going more in depth on how to get these things out safely. Of course, at all times, if you just can't seem to get things out and you're, you can feel it up there, make sure you talk to a local eye doctor because we can put special chemicals in the eye to see where it is and we can get out there for you. But I do totally understand that fear, but no, they can't get behind the eye. The second contact lens myth is that if you have astigmatism, you can't wear contacts. And I'm not really sure who is out there telling patients that they can't wear contacts because they have astigmatism because it's just not true anymore. Maybe like 30 years ago or more, uh, they didn't have contacts for astigmatism, but now we do. I even have a video going over like the best contact lenses for astigmatism. Even if you have a high amount of astigmatism, we even have custom-made soft lenses like the Biofinity XR Torix. Or if you have a severe amount of astigmatism, like somebody with keratoconus, then you can get custom scleral lenses made for your prescription. And you probably even see better in those than you would with glasses. Yes, it's a little bit true. Your doctor may feel that you're just not a good candidate for contact lenses due to your astigmatism, but it doesn't mean that it's not possible. So keep that in mind. Now, contact lens myth number three is that children cannot wear contact lenses. Again, complete myth. Children can wear contact lenses. I've even fit contact lenses in kids as young as age of six years old. And I know other practitioners who fit them in even younger. We even can fit contact lenses for baby infants who usually have had some either a birth defect or they've had surgery to remove maybe a cataract inside the eye. And then we need to fit contact lenses that the parents can help put in and take out because that helps better with neurological development of the visual processing centers. Cool enough, the US FDA did approve the MySight contact lens for starting at the age of eight years old. So yes, kids can start wearing contact lenses. A rough rule of thumb that a lot of eye doctors kick around is that we like to make sure that kids are mature enough to keep their bedrooms clean. If they're a young kid who's not mature enough to keep their bedroom clean, then they're probably not mature enough to keep their contact lenses clean. So again, just a rough rule of thumb. Contact lens myth number four is that yes, you can sleep in contact lenses now. Uh, unfortunately, this is kind of a tough question to answer because it's like a little bit yes and no. There are technically contact lenses that are FDA approved for overnight or extended wear. However, even for people who do choose to wear those specific lenses and sleep in those lenses, they're at a much higher risk of developing a coronal infection or ulcer. And that's just, true fact for basically every eye doctor out there, they're gonna see more infections for people who sleep in their lenses and overwear their lenses. There are select cases such as after trauma or surgery that will prescribe a bandage contact lens to be put on the patient's eye for several days uh, that they'll go ahead and sleep in because those are special cases where we're gonna follow up with them several days later, as well as usually prescribing an antibiotic on top of that just as a prophylactic treatment to prevent them from getting an infection. And there are special lenses like ortho-K lenses which have a really high breathability, so oxygen can still pass through those lenses. So those lenses are specifically made for people to sleep in. But in general, we still see much higher infection and ulcer rates, and even people losing vision permanently because they slept in their contacts. Myth number five is that if you run out of contact lens solution, it's okay 
to use either tap water or saliva? This is actually a weird question that I got when I presented at a local high school for their healthcare fair, and a student in high school raised their hand and asked me this exact question. As far as the tap water goes, I understand that because when I was a kid, uh, I would maybe forget to pack my contact lens solution when I went to go spend the night at a friend's house, and I would just use tap water. And that was honestly one of the biggest mistakes you can possibly make with soft contact lenses. I actually think I'm super lucky that I didn't end up with like a permanent disability because I would do this. All forms of water, especially tap water, even though if it's cleaned, there's still microorganisms that live in that water and can cause really awful infections with contact lenses. Specifically, there's one called acanthamoeba, which is not only potentially blinding, causing massive scarring, but it is extremely painful. So please do not do what I did when I was in junior high and you know replace it with tap water. Do not do that. Make sure you are using an approved disinfectant of some kind. And then as far as saliva goes, I'm not sure where that comes from, but maybe from the uh, one basketball player that once his contact lens fell out and he put it in his mouth and then put it back into his eye. Ugh. Again, your saliva is a form of water, massive amounts of bacteria in your mouth, uh, and still just not a good idea. If your contact lens falls out, it's why it's good to always have a little travel bottle of disinfectant solution so you can just re-wet it and then put it back in. In fact, that's one of the things I recommend for all of my young teenage patients who are wearing contact lenses for sports and things like that. Make sure just to have a little travel size bottle with you in your like activity bag. Myth number six is that it's okay to swim in your contact lenses. Ugh, this is a tough one because again, myself growing up, I would wear my contact lenses while I went swimming. Not because it's okay, but because I didn't know about it. Unfortunately, again, all forms of water, whether it be uh, swimming pool water, if you're in a lake water, if you're in a bathtub or taking a shower, or even if it's like bottled water or something like that, all forms of water have high amounts of microorganisms and dramatically increases your risk for contact lens related infections. And if you happen to be a swimmer, guess what? They do in fact make prescription eye goggles. They even make prescription eye goggles in like transitions lenses that'll turn into more like sunglasses when you're outside. It's pretty crazy. But again, sorry, swimming in contact lenses is again a huge risk for infection. And contact lens myth number seven is that as you get older, you can't wear contact lenses. And I understand why people sometimes think this. They think because, hey, I'm starting to have trouble seeing up close with presbyopia, and maybe they've prescribed bifocals or progressive lenses, and they think, I just, I can't wear contact lenses anymore. They get too frustrated. Well, they do have now multifocal contact lenses, and they even make multifocals for astigmatism. So yes, we do have contact lenses that work by allowing you to see both far away and help you see things up close. So you're less dependent on things like reading glasses and all of that. And now we even have like the viewity eye drops that help constrict your pupil and help you see up close. So uh, whether with multifocal contacts or a combination of maybe a distance contact lens, a near contact lens, uh, or multifocals, there's, there's so many different options. And yes, you can wear contacts even in your older age. Hey, thank you for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button for us and leave us a comment. Any questions about contact lenses or really anything about the eyes, I'd love to hear back from you. Otherwise, if you want to see other cool videos about eye health tips, keeping the eyes healthy, seeing your best with glasses, go ahead and click or tap the screen over here to the side. Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. Keep an eye on it and we'll talk to you soon.